Hello and welcome to RTBU Express TV, I'm Daniela Intilli. Pacific National has begun a wave of redundancies of more than 160 workers nationally. Workers from Atwaras Creek, Mossvale Parks, Narrabri and Kutamundra were made redundant last week in the first round of Pacific National's job cuts. Pacific National has so far refused to provide details to back up its claims that fewer workers will be needed in the future despite industry forecasts predicting substantial growth in the freight industry. The RTBU has called on Pacific National to be upfront with workers and communities about the reasons for the job cuts, saying that the redundancies represent the beginning of a backdoor attempt to casualise the company's workforce. The union is working to assist those workers who have been affected. The New South Wales government has spent only a million dollars of a promised $40 million fund for rail security more than two years after the fund was announced. The Park and Travel Safely Fund announced by the Transport Minister in 2012 was to have been spent on safety measures such as improved CCTV, lighting and increased help point reliability. Instead, the RTBU says the transport security has only gotten worse as security staff have been laid off. 600 rail security officers have have been replaced with only 300 police officers across the entire transport network and more positions have been cut in CCTV monitoring. The RTBU says the New South Wales government's broken promises is compromising passenger safety while they pursue cost cutting. More than a thousand car spots have been taken from key rail workers at train stations across the state. Transport Minister Gladys Berejiklian announced that 1,200 staff car spaces from across the rail network would be reallocated for commuter use, with the majority of spaces going from Campbelltown, Blacktown, Penrith and Liverpool. Wollongong MP Noreen Hay has joined the RTBU in condemning the move, saying that forcing staff to park further away from the station places them in danger. Female staff working night shifts are particularly vulnerable when they can't find parking close to the station and the move is a violation of the New South Wales government's responsibility as an employer to provide a safe workplace. Providing workers with car parking ensures that train drivers and guards can get to work on time to keep the network running to schedule. New South Wales government employees, including transport workers, will now have their compulsory superannuation increases deducted out of future pay rises. After a number of unions ran a case last year, the Industrial Relations Commission ruled all public sector workers should receive the superannuation increase on top of the 2.5% wages cap. However, a recent decision by the New South Wales Court of Appeal has meant that compulsory superannuation payments are considered an employee-related cost and can be deducted from current and future wage increases. Unions New South Wales says the decision puts public employee pay rises below the CPI and that workers would now effectively be paying for their own super. The unions of affected workers involved in winning the initial cases are currently investigating possible legal remedies, including a High Court appeal. The RTBU continue the fight for a better deal for New South Wales transport workers through the Our Transport campaign. The Our Transport pledge calls on the government to rule out privatisation of the transport system, stop cost-cutting measures and provide decent job security for workers. Members and commuters alike can sign up to the pledge online at the Our Transport website. And for more information on any of these stories, you can go to the RTBU website I'm Daniela Rintilli, see you next time.